I feel so strange with this hair. <laughs> now I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I did this yesterday. You may have already watched me talk about this on IGTV. I did this hair yesterday because I was so hot and I just kind of wanted my hair up, but I didn't want it to give me a headache because my big top knot bun thing recently has been giving me a headache. and I didn't want it on the back of my neck and this was my solution. And um, I wore it today thinking it would be cute. Now I feel like I look like a pixie or something. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think it might be too young a hairstyle for a 33 year old woman, but I don't know. I'll let you tell me. Um, so today is boot haul and um, it's kind of real time. So for those of you that have commented on the fact that um, some of my videos recently have been like way filmed in advance, like I say way, like two weeks out, which is abnormal. Um, as I did say in a previous video, the reason that I did that is because it's the summer holidays and I just wanted to kind of take the pressure off a little bit, especially for the first week of the summer holidays. I wanted it to be kind of um, just a week where I knew I didn't have to do anything, take it off with the kids. I actually had it off work and have an actual break. Um, and for the rest of the time, you just never know what might happen. I don't know when I'm going to have the time to film and I didn't want to feel like I was always stealing time to go and do that when the children are off school. So um, that's the reason, but this one couldn't wait because there is currently a deal on at Boots where I think it's like spend 60 pounds, get 10 pounds off. And it ends on the 31st of July. So hopefully I'm getting this up in time. I'm filming this on Saturday night. I have just poured myself a glass of wine because as soon as I film this, I'm taking off my makeup and putting on my pajamas. That or we're going to the cinema. I haven't decided yet. So let's get into this big bag of stuff. So the reason that I ordered online is because the Meadow Hall boots is being renovated. I'm super excited about it. I saw it today and it's very, very nearly done. I think by the time you see this, it will be open. There is a Fenty, there is a Too Faced, there is an Urban Decay, a Wet n Wild, a Becca. I'm super excited. We're gonna do a shop with me. I can't wait to go and do a little tour of that place. But for now, I wanted to shop online because there's not really a boots near me that's like a nice boots with lots of brands that I wanted to see to have a mooch around and I wanted to take advantage of that discount. Um, so uh, two of the things that I purchased were hair things. We've got the Lee Stafford heat protector, but <laughs> heat protection shine mist. I haven't had a heat protectant for a really long time because I haven't really done much with my hair, but on the occasion that I have styled it, I haven't used a heat protectant. And now I'm styling it a little bit more often. I wanted to buy one. So I've got this. I really like the Lee Stafford fragrance and this had some really good reviews online. Um, the dry shampoo, I'm kind of making my way through popular dry shampoos now because for a long time I was just Batiste, 100% only Batiste. And I'm now coming to realise that the reason I didn't like the other ones is that I was applying them all as if they were Batiste and they are all individually their own animals. So for example, with the Colab, um, I kind of thought, oh, well, this is not giving me what I need it to um, kind of absorb all the oil that I have. But it's a different thing from Batiste. Like Batiste gives you the powder. And once you're used to that, you kind of you kind of fall into one application rut. It's kind of like having a favorite foundation and then not considering that the next foundation you try may have an optimum way of application, you know? And so I'm trying different ones. This I got because they were like something like half price on a lot of the Lee Stafford, um Hair stuff, I will link things below on this one because there is that deal. Um, and so yeah, I got those two. Let me know if you've tried them. Um, one of the things that I've had in my basket for weeks is this. And the reason I've got this is, this is my favorite, possibly my favorite makeup brush of all time. It's, but it's blah, 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 definitely my most used. Um, and so I decided that I want another one. So one could be for like blush and bronzer and stuff and the other could be specifically for powder or if I was gonna do lots of different color, you know, I didn't want it to kind of be, I, I was using one brush for multiple different things and I felt like it was getting a little bit muddy. So this has got one of those brushes in it. That's 10 pounds on its own. I was just gonna buy that. This whole set is 20. So I've got, um, again, another thing I've been using a lot recently is the Real Techniques blending sponge. So you get one of those, one of those, and then these three brushes, which are, the setting, setting ensemble. How does, an ensemble is multiple things. What? Okay, so setting, there's a foundation brush and then a deluxe crease brush. I think the setting brush I already have and I like that for highlight and under my eyes. Um, and the foundation brush I'm really excited to try too. So that was a really good deal at 20 pounds. Um, this is something that I've had on and off over the years. And I'm sure it used to be more expensive than this either it used to be a lot more expensive or it's always on offer now and perhaps 
my budget just has changed that much because I remember it, it in my mind it was like closer to £10 it was beyond the realm of what I would want to spend on a body lotion like regularly however for the size of it I think the full price is £5 and for the size of it it is kind of pricey isn't it for how quickly you would go through it I love this stuff it's just sometimes you you know like when you think back and you think oh something used to be larger or something used to be better or something used to be cheaper or whatever sometimes it's like perspective that changes and like time and the place that you are and I think maybe that's it because now I go oh okay so this is two pounds something it's almost always on sale um but five pounds is not so bad I really really like it but there would have been a time where I'd have gone absolutely not because maybe I would have been buying it as an add-on with my shopping whereas now I'm looking at that with my beauty shopping and thinking that's not so bad is anybody are you with me hopefully. Um, anyway, this is really, really nice stuff. If you like an oil, but you don't like the messiness of an oil, this is like a gel. Um, it's very, very hydrating. It smells amazing. Really nice for summertime and um, good for massage as well because it doesn't get like bitty or rolly, but you have a little bit more control. There's a little bit more um, texture to it than an oil. I just love it. I wish it came in a larger size and I nearly bought two, but I didn't. Um, I got this setting spray. I'm going to give this a go now, actually. It's the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. I bought a couple of things from Wet n Wild, and I am excited. I'm really excited to see the new stand. I can't open this thing. Um, and, like, be able to go and swatch things. I can't wait. Absolutely can't wait. This is part of the thing that's making me feel like maybe we won't go to the cinema today because we were going to go on our own. Milo doesn't want to go and see Toy Story or Spider-Man. And we do. So we're both, we're going to go by ourselves at some point. It's teeny tiny. What is this? Oh, it's called Seal the Deal. It's got a name. That's so cute. Um, I'm looking for something. Oh, it's 45 mil. Oh, I really like that spritz. Okay, this is going to be great. So I really like the way that that sprays, the, um, the way it kind of diffuses. And, oh, that's cute. And it is... A teeny bowl and you could refill it so I could put some of my other ones in here if I end up not liking this spray specifically I've got one from Primark right now the matte setting spray that I really like but the nozzle is horrible it's like a, a huge squirt of oh man it's terrible like it takes forever for it to dry down so uh, this is the kind of thing that I would decant that into um what else did I get I got the wet and wild foundation this is Soft Ivory, and I guessed this from Swatches Online. I liked this. It had, this was only $4.99. The Wet n Wild stuff is very affordable. I seem to remember Wet n Wild coming back before, or coming to the UK before, and it not being affordable. But maybe that's just, maybe I'm thinking of NYX, because that for sure wasn't. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's not a million miles away. It's, it's not the worst, given that I've got a bit of colour right now, because it's summer. That is not the worst um, colour match I've ever seen from a guess online. Okay, it's got kind of that, it's a very light texture, kind of a silicone-y situation. Let me know if you would like um, like a wear test video of this and I will do it for you very soon. Uh, the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I specifically wanted some stuff um, from this particular shopping trip that was kind of glowy because there's things in the past that I've tried that I don't have anymore and I want to make a video all about kind of things that will work for getting a glow without it being sparkly because I hate that. I'm not into glittery glow, I'm into kind of a sheen, just something that looks like a glow, not not a, a sparkly highlight. So this, there were a couple of different colours that I could choose from and I got Gleam. Again, I got it from the swatches online. Ooh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. It's a little bit more bronze than I anticipated. Um, I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit more neutral, but that is really nice. I'm going to give that a go tomorrow. And the other highlighter that I got was the one from, ooh, this is glass. This is called Hello Halo Liquid Highlight. And this is from Wet n Wild. The color that I got was Gilded Glow. I don't know why I'm so impressed that this is glass. And I think this one, it has got that more of a champagne tone than also just to show you, it's got like a doe fat applicator. Also, how many of you 
I have to, because every time I think of dope, I think of this one person who one time asked me what I meant by dope. Like she said something like dope for whatever. It was completely understandable that she'd never, if you'd never seen it written down, um, what a dofa applicator was and she didn't know what it was and so I'm really interested to know if any of you I mean you don't have to say but I'm gonna say just in case there's someone watching this who's like what are you talking about it's a doe foot applicator as in it's the shape of the foot a doe would have as in a female deer I would love to know if any of you didn't know that at any one time. I don't know if I just knew because I'd seen it written down because of all the blogs that I used to read. Um, but I, it always sticks with me that one person that was like, oh, that makes so much sense and truly didn't know. And there are so many things that you just say and you assume it's it's terminology that is not, it's not regular in <laughs> regular language. If I said that at work, people wouldn't necessarily know what I was talking about. So every time I say it, I think, I wonder if that's just one of those, you know, like a technical term almost. I mean, we kind of are so caught up in it because we're so in this community and, and you're so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like you hear it all the time in, in videos and all that stuff, but like in regular life, it's not normal, is it? Anyway, moving on, moving on. So this is beautiful. This is actually a lot prettier than the one from NYX. I'm thinking this one's gonna be really nice. Um, like underneath other things or mixed in with foundation, this is like a whole different animal. Really, really, pli I'm gonna put a little bit of this on it actually right now. Um, bear, oh my goodness. bear in mind this makeup is day old because I got ready quite early this morning and Ooh! I'm ready to be taking this makeup off now, really. Let's just see. If you are interested, I did this makeup on an IGTV video, by the way. I did like a chatty, a makeup chat and got ready. I didn't do my hair, hilariously. Because <laughs> some people later were asking me about how I'd done my hair and there I was like, but I look like a pixie. I do feel like I look really silly with this hair, but hey ho, whatever. Um, I like that, I really like that. Watch this space, we'll be talking about that soon. Um, another sparkly thing. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is something I had before. It's Moon Dust from Urban Decay and it's called Space Cowboy. So I really like sparkle, but I, don't, I mean, I like sparkle on my eyes, um, but I hate fallout because I hate sparkle on my face. So I'm looking for products that will work as kind of like a, just as an overlay. By the way, what I'm wearing on my face what I'm wearing on my eyes is this, which is the Aldi knockoff naked palette. It's really good. It's, I was not wearing any kind of um, primer today and I, I think this is pretty darn good as it happens. I think it's lasted really well. I'm just gonna kind of powder. That setting spray has left me feeling very shiny. Right, so Space Cowboy. I'm not like, oh, it's so pretty. Let me just see if I can show you the sparkle. It does not want to focus at all. It is just, oh, it's like the eyeshadow of the gods. Just there. Oh my goodness, the sparkle, the sparkle. So when I worked at Urban Decay a million years ago, um, what I used to really like these and I'll just hardly use these as well. Um, but these moon dust shadows for was kind of as like a topper. So I do my eyeshadow as normal, and then I would just pat on a corresponding moon dust because I had a palette. And by the way, the palette I think from Look Fantastic. I don't know if by the time you see this it will be, but I think Look Fantastic had a deal on Urban Decay and the Moon Dust palette was only about £25, I wanna say. And this is 15 for an individual shadow. So, you know, worth worth noting. Can I see my hair? No, you'll see how my uh, makeup has worn. But it's just so pretty. I love the sparkle. Love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna just totally go out of my comfort zone and put a little bit. Just there. This was just one of my absolute fit, and I think the name as well really stuck with me. 
one of my absolute favourite products that we made when I was working at Urban Decay. But seriously, this was so long ago. This was, I worked there when the first Naked Palette came out and for a very limited time. Not for long at all. Oh, I think it's so pretty. I might even be tempted to wear that on my face. It's just oh, in the right light. Mm. Last couple of things. Um, last two things, in fact. Yes, last couple of things. I got the All Bright Radiance Balm from Botanics. Oh, I already squirted this all over my hand. So, it's like a peachy balm. And my hope is it's going to be, oh, it's already completely different. Right, so I was hoping that it was gonna be something like the, um, oh, what's it called, the Brightening Balm, the, I can't remember the name of it, but from Pixie, P Rose Flash Balm, is that what it's called? And it's kind of like the same thing as the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, those things that you put on bare skin and it just perks everything up and just kind of makes everything look a bit awake and bright and I was hoping that's what this was going to be. We'll see, maybe it will be, it's a very different texture. Um, I will let you know but it does say that you can use alone formula veils skin in a beautiful glow while beneath makeup it's an effective smoothing primer. Skin is left looking healthy and revitalised. I'll let you know, I'm hoping it's going to be a dupe. Um, if any of you have tried it let me know how you, how you liked it, if you liked it. And lastly I got another Wet n Wild product, this is a lipstick. I used to love these Wet n Wild lipsticks, um, but I used to always have to have them, used to get them from America. And there came a point, because I became obsessed with buying things from like American drugstore stuff whenever we, we travelled, and um, there came a point where I was like, I can't keep talking about things that we can't get in the UK. That I'm not, I don't have a huge American audience. The majority of you watching will be from the UK and this just sucks. So I stopped using them and eventually I decluttered most of the American stuff. They still have the Comfort palette, by the way, Comfort Zone palette. They have all of the, they're, they're totally different packaging now, but they have all of the eyeshadow little quads and like the eight shadow palettes, amazing. And they have the Comfort Zone, it's all the same colours. Weirdly, it didn't appeal to me now. Like that, those colours were not my colours anymore, but the Comfort Zone palette was like the one everybody talked about. It's so funny, it's like very, oh, this is a gorgeous colour. Okay, so I was looking, I mean, it's not a million miles away from what I'm wearing right now. Actually, I can. Okay, no, that is quite different. <laughs> that is quite nude. So, I was looking for a nude that wasn't too nude. So, it wouldn't totally knock the colour out of my lips, which uh, now I'm looking at this, maybe this will. Uh, but over a good lip line, liner, over like a dark lip liner, I think this may be perfect. Um, and I was looking for something really that when I wear something darker on my eyes, it will go with it. This might work, we'll see, but mostly it was the name Never Nude that got me. And please, if you know the reference of Never Nude, number one, we'll be best friends forever. Um, but also, if you can tell me the game that Never Nude was referenced on, <laughs> that was nothing to do with the original reference, then we may be absolutely kindred spirits. I'll be really interested to know if anybody will know. And also, if, if you can even Google that, I don't know. Anyway, that is my Boots haul. I'm gonna go downstairs now and finish my wine um, and decide whether or not we're gonna go to the cinema. I don't know. I, I mean, also, I've now put a bunch more makeup on my face. It doesn't all necessarily go together. By the way, last thing uh, before I do go. I, I mentioned previously um, in another video about the FabFit Fun Box that I've signed up for. I'm really, excited about the fall one. Um, I got a notification somewhere, it might even have been on social media, I might not have been a notification at all, I might just have seen a pop up, um, that you can still get the summer box. So for those of you who didn't get it then, because I talked about the fact that you can get the summer box for like half the price of the regular one, um, I'll leave the current code to get that down below. If you're interested in Fabfit Fun Box, number one you can go and watch that video of my unboxing it, um, I think what they've got left now is like the editor's choice, which is why it's so much cheaper. But it's a nice way of kind of testing it out, seeing if maybe you would be interested um, without having to kind of pay the, the main fee. I'm waiting for the selections to become available um, for the autumn one, so it's kind of been on my mind today. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go. You can tell I haven't filmed for a little while, I'm kind of a bit all over the place and erratic. Um, but yeah, I have lots more videos coming for you over the summer. 
But in my mind, I'm already in September and I don't vlog this. So excited about vlogmas already. So excited. So excited. I'm actually um, bringing back my vlogmas Facebook group chat. If you are interested, I'll link it below. Um, so we can all kind of get excited about Christmas way too early without fear of judgment from our friends and family. So if you're that kind of person, you might like that little chat room. Um, but otherwise, okay, I'm finally, I'm really gonna go. That's it, totally, 100% gone. Um, I'll link everything below. Don't forget this offer is only on until the 31st. So if you're gonna buy something from Boots and it's gonna be at least 60 pounds, you might as well get 10 pounds off. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. New boys, same tricks.